Hello, everybody. Welcome to my long-term review of my modded Fostex X Master TXO, based on the Fostex T fifty RP MK two. Of course, these are closed back, planar magnetic headphones. Originally coming in at two hundred US dollars from Master Up. Now, uh, disclaimer. Similar to the standard Fostex T fifty RPs. These headphones don't really sound good before modding, so this entire video and sound review will be written based off of the mods I have done to improve the sounds and of course will vary depending on each unit. I'll be talking about the modding process later on. Firstly, looking at the accessories, unfortunately I don't have the box as I traded for a pair of these used. I'll put on an image of the, of the box on screen as it comes with a pretty standard master up box. Um, the TXO comes with this pretty unique two point five millimeter to quarter inch right locking cable with this bizarre three point five millimeter quarter inch adapter at the end. Built-in comfort of the TXO for the price is actually quite nice. Um, the extension of the rails are made of metal with smooth sliding and extension throughout. The master up version has these really plush and soft perforated leather ear pads with the addition of this comfort strap, making these headphones very comfortable despite the almost 400 gram weight. Uh, the light clamp force um, also adds the comfort. With the rest of the ear cups and headbands made of plastic, these headphones overall feel quite sturdy and are very comfortable. Now addressing the mods I've made to these headphones, I've added felt to the inside of the ear pads to dampen the treble and highs as well as added a layer of clay to the driver baffles with foam stuffed into the ear cuffs to make the sound tighter and more controlled. After modding, these headphones definitely sound a lot better. Regarding power, uh, the TXO has an impedance of 50 ohms and a sensitivity of 92 decibels. This means that these headphones definitely require some power, so make sure you have a decent desktop amplifier. Um, I've been powering these for the majority of my listening single-ended uh, through my iFi ZenStack streaming through Tidal HiFi from my MacBook. Finally, onto the sound. Even after modding, bass is definitely tighter but still a bit bloomy. Now taking a look at the frequency response graph provided by mass drop, mid bass is definitely bleeding in too and muddying up the mid range a bit. However, do take this graph with a heavy grain of salt as the modded sound is obviously different from stock, although it shouldn't really change the tonality of the headphones. Um, this is unfortunate because aside from the slight bloom compared to my Heifman HE350s, which is another pair of budget mass drop headphones. Bass on the TXO is definitely much faster, more detailed, and extends lower despite the significant roll off of the sub bass under 20 hertz. Um, a good example of this is in Attention by Charlie Poof when the really deep sub bass and electric guitar kicks in. The sub bass and low end of these headphones just don't go as deep as I want them to. Now onto dynamic punch and slam. The bass, um, again, doesn't really punch very hard and doesn't have this slam quality to it, but is more so speedy from the planar magnetic drivers. Um, this lack of dynamic punch and slam and layering of the low end, in my opinion, gives the TXO the recessed sub-bass quality. Um, dynamic range of these headphones remain relatively the same for almost anything I listen to, from classical, jazz, rock, or pop music. 
Now moving on to the mid range. Vocals are slightly recessed as there's a dip in the mid range around 400 hertz to 1k, making the vocals definitely more laid back and blended into the soundstage. Vocals are decently well separated from the background, however, sometimes can sound unrefined from some of the mid bass bloom and bleed into the mid range or the blending of the vocals into the soundstage. Uh, like the vocals, majority of the instruments are also blended into the soundstage and not very well separated, making instruments difficult to separate from the other sounds. I think this transitions perfectly into soundstage and imaging. Um, soundstage on these headphones are quite wide for a close back. However, the soundstage is definitely the typical pill shape where it's only wide from left to right, but not really forward or backwards. This limited forward soundstage is also where the mid range are blended in too. Imaging is also very limited as it only images directly in front of you and ironically not very well to the left or right. And the individual images themselves unfortunately are not very defined either. Finally onto treble and timbre. Timbre and treble can be too sharp and sibilant at times. For example, cymbals, drums, guitar, piano, acoustic instruments, and even some higher bass notes can sound too harsh in my opinion. Treble sounds particularly sharp with vocals in the S and T sounds and the sudden dips in the treble around 6K and especially a treble roll off of weird peaks and dips after 10K makes certain treble frequencies such as 7 to 8K pronounced and very noticeable in the music you're listening to. Um, this is especially apparent in Long After You're Gone by Chris Jones, where the guitar sounds too sharp for my preference. So in conclusion, um, unfortunately, overall, even after mods, uh, the TXO still don't sound great. Uh, detail, dynamics are lacking. Um, the bloom of the mid bass and blending into the soundstage doesn't really fit my own personal tastes. I like a more warm, intimate sound, like my either Focal Legia or my Odysseys. Now, the laid back vocals would have made the TXO a laid back headphone if it were not for the peaks and sibilance in the treble range. Um, so for the price, I definitely would not recommend these headphones unless you're willing to ship them and pay more to convert uh, them into the excellent Modhouse Argons, or if you do want some comfortable work headphones. Or if you're like me and you want a pair of headphones to experiment on and try out modding. For the price, um, some headphones I would recommend instead of these at around 200 US dollars are either the Sennheiser HD6XX for its excellent build, comfort, and mid-range performance, or the Heifman HD4XX for that detailed planar sound that you were expecting from something like this. So that's all for my review of the Fostex TXO. Um, I hope you look forward to my reviews of other things, and as always, thanks for watching.